Glory to Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God and before tonight. We before we begin tonight's service, I just kindly ask everyone to please switch off all cell phones and all put them on silent and respect to God's presence tonight. Amen. 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 Amen, saints of God. How many glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Give the Lord a great wave of offering tonight. Hallelujah. And remember everything that you're doing unto the Lord as you come in God's presence on your daily walk with God. Always practice to give God your all because the word of God said unto us, he said, give me your all. And I, the Lord, that God is going to give you your heart's desires. Amen. Amen. And it's only when we seek him with our whole heart, then we could receive the promises of God. Amen. Amen. So one more time, let's practice from now on. Amen. Give the Lord a great way of offering tonight. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for the living God tonight. I want you to shout tonight from the depths of your soul, God is good. All the time. And every time. God is good. So let's worship the Lord together tonight as a people. Amen. In spite of your masses, I want you to worship the Lord. Amen. Lift those hands tonight. Hallelujah. And glorify the living God. Oh, 
worship Him tonight. Just glorify the living God tonight for who He is. Just adore Him tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. We give You praise. Oh, we give You praise tonight, Lord. Yeah. 
miracles, you expectations. You gotta open up your heart and you gotta give God your all tonight. Amen. How many believe you're gonna get your victory tonight? Somebody call it by his name tonight. Somebody shout, victory is mine tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Season God tonight. As you are standing, it's my privilege tonight and honor to hand over the service. Dr. Tanoa of a Prophet Junior, a man of great sacrifice that loves the Lord dearly. Amen. That loves to see God's people saved, delivered. Amen. And walking in their destiny tonight. Stretch your hands towards him tonight and shout, Use him, Lord. Use him, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Please put your hands together for him tonight as he comes. Lift it up to the most high, to the most high God. Lift it up to him, lift it up to him. Remember what the Lord spoke unto Moses. He said, take off thy shoes for where thou standest holy ground. Amen, somebody.
Amen. It was already here and it is still coming. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. It is already here and it is still coming, vaccinated or unvaccinated. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Death, severe disease, sickness, tribulation, murder, and we need continuous covering. We need continuous prayer. The Bible said God is a reward of them that diligently seek Him. God is a covenant keeping God. Amen. Amen, somebody. He is a what? In other words, you've got to do something. Amen, somebody. In order for him to release something. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. He said, I am a reward of them that diligently seek him. The night is not about me. The night is about you and God. I want you to tell your neighbors, the night is not about how much your prophet can pray. It's not about how much your prophet can lay hands upon you. The night is about how much you are willing to humble yourself before the most high God and strip yourself bare and begin to seek God and see yourself for who you is and begin to cry out unto God because God is a reward of them that diligently seek Him. Amen, somebody. Our faith does not stand in the wisdom of men but they're standing the power of God. It doesn't stand in our philosophy or our ideology. It stands in what God is doing to us, in what God is working in us. The Bible said on the hill that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can think or dream or ask for according to His power and working within us. It is that power that moves the mountains. It is that power that He is the He said, you shall seek me, and you shall find me. Only when you have sought me. Only when you have searched for me. With all of my, with all of our heart. That message still stands today. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. If you're going to live, if you're going to survive, if you're going to come Amen. through this season, victorious. I want somebody. Amen. We got to be determined to seek God with our whole heart. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. With how? Our whole, our whole heart. heart. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And so before we go into the living water service tonight, we go to get in prayer for our nation. We go to get in prayer. And God will move and put aside your politics and get Amen. what is right and Amen. truth and justice in our nation. Amen. And God will move our churches, our people. And God will move for those that are in the hospital, those that are sick here tonight, those that need a miracle. Amen, somebody. For he is now unto them of a broken heart and saving them be of a contrite spirit. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. So second Chronicle chapter 17, verses 40 says, If my people, which are called by how many are called by the name of your God? Lift your hands. You are called. You, when, when you are called by the name of your God. Amen, somebody. He said, if they will do what we, we got to understand what it means to, to humble ourselves and seek God. Amen. When we got to humble ourselves and seek God, we got to put aside ego. We got to put aside pride. You got to put aside sin. You got to put aside what you want and you got to establish the will of God. Amen, somebody. Many of us, many times, we don't like the will of God. But it is the will of God that shall prevail in our life. It is the counsel of God that shall prevail. Amen. God will work with this power. Amen. That is what is leading us, driving us, delivering us. That is what's going to work for us. 
Tell your neighbor, say, if it is not working, check the will. Check the will of God. If what you have been doing for years is not working, check the will of God. And if you are unable to check the will of God, still you are too blind to be saved. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You see, the Bible said we got to go from strength to strength, from eye to eye, from depth to depth, from glory to glory, from faith to faith, for the just must live by faith. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Don't you ever say begin to check the will of God. It is the will of God for you to be healed. Amen. It is the will of God for you to be delivered. It is the will of God for you to be blessed. It is the will of God for you to prosper. It is the will of God to make the impossible in your life possible. But you got to go after the will of God. He said, seek me and you shall find me. He said, knock and it shall be open. He said, ask and it shall be given. He said, blessed are they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Many of you have your seats there. I want you to kneel down and let's begin to call upon God for our nation. Glory to Jesus. Five minutes. Let's come and want to call. This is an evening of prayer for our nation that is your seat. Begin to kneel down and let's begin to pray. And you open your voice and begin to cry out to God for your nation. Your father, your mother, your loved ones, maybe you have loved ones that are sick, families that are sick with COVID-19 right now, people in the hospitals, are, amen, heart condition, brain tumor, amen, all type of diagnosis of doctors, amen, somebody there is never a sickness or a disease that Jesus can heal, amen, you begin to pray, you begin to pray, you begin to pray, you begin to pray, maybe you came here for a miracle, you came here for a touch, you want your eyes to be open, your deaf ears to be on stuff. You want God to perform something that you have never done in one life. This is the hour. This is the time to begin to call upon him. He said, call upon me in the times of trouble and I will show up to you great and mighty things that you know not of. We need to enter into the holy place. We need to get our hearts. We need to get our we need to get our souls. We need to get our being right with God. We need to humble ourselves. We need to repent. We need to turn. We need to seek the face of God. We need to bring the presence of God. Hallelujah. It was for this purpose. The Son of God was made manifested and he might destroy the works of the devil. Every work of the devil in your life. You need to bring it under subjection to the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For he said these signs, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. These signs shall follow them that believe on his name, that believe in the name of Jesus. We shall heal the sick, we shall raise the dead, we shall cast off devils, we shall open the eyes of the blind. We can unstop the deaf ears. It's a time of your miracle. Begin to pray for your nation. Begin to pray for your prime minister. Begin to pray for your president. Begin to pray for your opposition leader. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray that God will redirect this nation. Begin to pray for the backslider. Begin to pray for conviction to come. For revival to come. And the Lord will pull up uh, of the spirit uh, as he have never done before. Uh, for he said in the last days, uh, I the Lord thy God uh, shall pull out uh, of my spirit uh, upon all flesh. Uh, and he said in the sons uh, and the daughters uh, shall put me sign uh, and see visions uh, and the old men uh, shall dream dreams. Uh, but who shall ever Shall call, shall call upon the name.
take up their testimonies, those that are being delivered, find out what is the cause of their problems, and brought them here to this side. Yes. The Holy Ghost is still moving, the Holy Spirit is still moving. God is performing special miracles. Take testimonies, take testimonies, those that keep the testimonies, come forward quickly, come forward quickly. testimony, don't keep, do not let the devil get the glory, do not let the devil take what God has given you tonight. Come to your left, come to your left. You got to pay attention in the house of God. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive, 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 who the Son has set free is free indeed. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead, we're going to take testimonies. We're going to take them. Praise him. Glory to Jesus, right? Hallelujah. Let's hear what God did for us, lady, tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you came in with some pains in the shoulder. You couldn't lift your shoulder before. When you started to pray, all the pains left. Lift your shoulder, let me see. Praise the Lord. So you couldn't do that before you came into service. Amen. Give God some praise. Give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyone have testimonies? You came here in pain, illnesses, and everything. Give God some praise. Come forward quickly and give Jesus the glory. Praise the Lord. Sister, let's see what God did for you tonight. I came here with us. Pain, like this pain just bothering me on my left side. Sometimes I feel it in the back, and no matter what I do, this pain ain't going, but it's gone. It's gone. Come on, give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, migraine headaches and poverty, every attack against our children and loved ones, we send the Holy Ghost. God of miracles, God of healing, God of signs and wonders. Open your mouth to yourself of faith. Does not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every pain, every ache. Ah! We set the Holy Ghost upon the sun. Jesus mighty name. And it will have a testimony of your glory, Father. All the pains have gone, give it to Jesus. You are healing them Give God some praise. Come on. I want you to see that since the past two weeks as we begin to preach, that we don't have need to lay hands on people. For demons to come out, for illness to come out, you see the power of God flowing. Why? 
because we have started back to begin to pray. Yeah. Yeah. There's power in prayer. Many people come and they want to pray. They want to talk to God. They believe in, in just a man and one kid with some oil. The power of God is within you. Christ is within us. The hope of glory. He said, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. He said, if two or more shall do what? Come in agreement. There's, more, there's power in agreement. Yes, what? Power in agreement. And when you begin to agree and pray, the light of God begins to manifest. Amen, somebody. And it begins to do what? Expel the darkness. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Amen. And when he said, whosoever walketh in the light shall not stumble, but he shall have the light of life. With the light of God, it shall expel the darkness. It doesn't matter what sickness, what disease, what demon spirit, as long as we are able to use our faith and believe with all of our heart, there is a miracle for you in your mouth. There's a miracle for you. And your hand, there's a miracle for you. Yet at night, there's a miracle for you. When you leave, we serve the God of miracles. Give him praise. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To the book of John with me. Get your spirit, your water ready. Amen, somebody. See, I'm about to receive a special miracle. The Bible said in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 that Christ is that rock in which spiritual water flowed out of. Amen, somebody. He is that same rock today, amen somebody. He is the rock of all ages. This is Jesus speaking to me and Jesus is speaking to you tonight again. He is speaking in this time, in this hour. He is speaking in this very moment of fear, of calamity, of the Is still speaking. For the scripture said he does nothing on the earth without revealing it to his servants, the prophets. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And St. John chapter 7 and verse 37 says this Jesus is making a call. Say, Jesus is making a call. Somebody call him by his name here tonight. begin to cry out. Amen, somebody. Amen. He began to cry out in John chapter 7 for his people. Amen. And he was crying out through Jeremiah in chapter 17. Amen, and verses 15. He said, for we have forsaken the fountain of living waters. Amen. Jeremiah began to cry out through prophecy for his people. And he said, we have forsaken the fountain of But we have lost the power of Christ. And Jesus now begins to cry again. St. John chapter 7 and verses 37. And he says, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood at him and he cried. Amen, somebody. Amen. Somebody said, Jesus stood at him, cried. That the mother Bible said he stood up and he cried out with a loud voice. The Son of God, the God of all creation, the God of all miracles. 
still was crying out to the people. He was what? Still what? Crying. crying out. How long will God be crying out to his people? Amen. He said, oh, all day long my hand is outstretched to what are wicked and again saying people. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Amen somebody. Oh, all day long his hand is outstretched. God is speaking to you. God is calling you. God is asking what are you putting first? What are you doing with your life? What are you standing upon? Amen. God wants to set you free. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, if any man thirst, how many of us are thirsty tonight? How many of us are thirsty for the living waters of God? Amen. We have this bottle and we've been praying upon her and there's a scripture in Christ that Christ, the rock in which spiritual water stood up, but that is just a symbol. It is a type and shadow of what God really wants to do in the inner man, in the spiritual man, in your life. He said, eyes have not seen Only 
receive it, but I am thirsty. But I am hungry for it. And I desire the power to flow out of me. That is the power that is going to keep us today. And you leave here tonight. That is the power that is going to keep you. That is the power that is going to work miracles for you. That is the power that is going to heal your cancer, AIDS, diabetes. And it's the power that's going to touch your loved ones. Who in I see you all with Delta right now. That is your power that is going to open doors and send breakthroughs and supply your every need. And it's the power that is going to give you strength to walk tomorrow and to see tomorrow and to see your children live. And it's the power that is going to open doors. And it's the power that is going to make you a flame of fire for the honor and glory of God. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Am I speaking to somebody? Come on. Come on. We are in one of the greatest events in the world as a sign of Matthew 24, or right before the Great Tribulation. And I want you to turn right now to Revelation chapter 7 and verses 15. The word is speaking to you tonight. God is going to do special miracles, but he will do it according as the scripture has said. Amen. He will do it as what? According as the scripture has said. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Revelation chapter 7 and verses 13 says this. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, So thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation. And have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. There are people that do not want to go through any tribulation. But there are some people that God got to break to make them clean. Amen. 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 Ah, somebody get quiet tonight. Amen. Amen. Come on, they see a heart, your heart so hard. Your ego so big. Come on. Amen. Your pleasures are sin high, you're so proud. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. In order for God to get you clean. Come on, somebody. Amen. You got to take you through some tribulation. But this tribulation he's speaking about here is the great tribulation. Amen. But right now there are people that are going through some great tribulation in this time, in this hour, and throughout the world. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And he said, I said unto him, so thou knowest. And he said unto me, these are they which came out of the great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him night. Amen, somebody, in his temple. And he sitting on the throne shall dwell among them. Verse 16. And they shall hunger no more. Neither shall they thirst anymore. Neither shall the sun. Amen. Amen, somebody. Light on them, nor any heat. Amen. For the lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall what? Lead them. Unto what? The lamb is leading us unto what? The lamb is leading us unto what? Living water. You see it again, what? Living water. What type of service is tonight? The living water service. Amen. You see, in order for you to get to the living water, you've got to come through something. Amen. Amen. Jesus cried and said, Let him that is a thirst, let him come and drink. And if he believe us the scripture says, 
I'm here to tell you the scriptures and these signs. Tell the neighbor, these signs shall follow you who believe. In the name of the Holy Son, Jesus Christ, you shall heal the sick. You shall raise the dead. You shall cast out devils. You shall eat and drink deadly things. COVID-19 is not a deadly thing. And it shall not what? Harm you. Tell the neighbor to come out of faith and begin to walk in faith. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. Revelation 21, verse 68. We are speaking about this living water. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And after you are trans, I will pray the prayer of faith upon you. But the Bible says that any afflicted, let them want to pray. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Is there any sick? Let them do what? Call for the end. Verse 68 says this. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Come on, somebody. We have COVID-19 trying to mock our God right now. We are Alpha, we are Omega, we are Delta, we are Beta. Come on, somebody. Yeah. We need to get Jesus. Come on, somebody. Yeah. We need to let some of the these demon spirits and these sons mocking our God. We have the true Alpha. We have the true Omega. We have the first. We have the last. We have the beginning. We have the end. We have the way. We have the truth. We have the life. We have the life. We have the, have the God of all creation. We have the God of all the universe within us, before us. And he said unto me, it is done, I am. When he said it is done, don't to your neighbor say, believe you tonight. Not believing it is done. Believe it. it is done in your body. It is done in your home. It is done in your children. It is done in your family. It is done in the hospital. Say, power of the floor tonight. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost and fire. Keeping me alive. Come on, somebody. Son to the fire. God, the spirit of God. For God to do a work in 
your time, in your hour, in your generation, in your life, in your home, in your surroundings that you have never experienced before. Come on, somebody. You've got to come out from the lukewarmness. You've got to come out from all your fears and panic and doubt and the scare of science and government and begin to look to Jesus. Looking on the Jesus who is the author and the finisher of my faith. If God say yes, Come on, somebody. Amen. And I will give unto him that that is a church. He's always desiring of God. The fountain of the water of life freely. And he that overcomes it. It's not easy to overcome. It's a struggle. It's a battle. It's a fight. Day in, day out. But he that overcomes it. He that does not give in to his desires, to his despair. Says always, you are not giving up. He that overcome it shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. God is saying, I will be your God, and you shall be my son. Say, God is saying to me, I shall be your God. And you shall be my son. Amen. That is a privilege to him that is at us. To him that believes as the scripture has said it. So shall it come to pass in your life hereafter. Amen. Get your spiritual water. The rock of ages is about to flow unto you. Your water and put a demand on the anointing. Remember, this water I've been praying upon for three days. It is a symbol of the Christ, it is a symbol of the Spirit of God. We have taught on the spiritual water. You see, at the pool of Siloam, Jesus washed, sent the blind man. Jesus could have opened the man's eyes, but he used the water as a sign. He said, Go and wash your eyes at the pool of Siloam. And immediately his eyes was open. You see the pool of Bethsaida, the angel that troubled the water. You see in 1 Corinthians 10 verses 4, he said, and did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was Christ. As we pray, and that's the anointing, and you see that Paul did special miracles in the book of Acts. Anointed handkerchief and apron and sent it out to the sick. Whoever you send it out to God is going to move. Jesus has come to move. Hold that water to you. And repeat after me. Say, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Not of sickness. Not of disease. Not of demon spirits. Not of death. Not of COVID-19. Not of despair. Not of in the mighty name of Jesus, as I drink of this living water, I believe Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one, has come upon me, has come upon this water. Whatever is not of God, in my life, in my spirit, in my soul, in my body, in my home, be it witchcraft, be it sorcery, be it necromancy, be it ancestral curses, be it blindness, deafness, heart disease, every poison that I might have eaten at the 
drink about half, you're gonna drink a, and you're gonna lay your hands upon your stomach because the skip is out of your way. Your, your out of your belly shall spring for what? And command the living water, the life of God to begin to spring out of you. Command miracles to happen. Command your enemies to flee. Command whatever you have been fighting and struggling it to come out of you. Your hands up from your stomach as you have drunk the water and begin to command it out. Begin to command it out. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. You are about to leave here with your miracle. And you are about to leave here. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Lay your hands. Lay your hands upon your stomach and command the living water out of your belly. And it shall flow. And it shall flow. And it shall flow. The living waters. The living waters. The living waters of God. The living waters of God. And it shall go where your husband is, where your wife is, where your children is, where your loved one is. Living waters. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Begin to put, let me hear you. Let me hear you begin to put in the status. Ushers, ministers, some leaders, members, visitors, construction team, Sunday school team.
Sorry, it was no one to pick it up. Pick it up, feeling. To get the demons leave you. The sickness leave you. The situation turn around your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive.
Fundraising, come on, I still queue this week, the 27th. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Give God some praise. I'm going to move on to Sister Lisa tonight. Give God some praise. She comes. So, all construction team, about 11 tomorrow, come together. You will talk before you leave tonight, see what you all can do tomorrow. On the house of God, amen, let's be pushing it, amen, somebody. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Put your hands together for the man of God tonight. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Tonight, we have a, a birthday, amen. And it, we are going to call Sister Keila, amen. She's part of our Sunday school team, amen. A, a woman that works really hard and pushes to get things done, amen. So tonight we're going to call her husband, he has prepared a cake for her and we want to join together with him to sing happy birthday and we wish her the best on her birthday, amen? amen. Sister Akila, Brother Jason. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We don't want any one of our workers to get jealous. Amen. This was prepared by our husband. Amen. Amen. So put your hands together for them tonight. Glory to the Lamb of God. We want the camera to see Sister Kila tonight. 
Amen. Amen. And we want to wish her the best. Amen. This is also our hallelujah of our desire that God will bless you, that God will strengthen you. Hallelujah. That God will cause you to see many more years to come. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Join tonight with me as we sing happy birthday. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hallelujah. Hail somebody out as you go. Amen. Amen.